Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome back to another scripting video. Today we're going to be taking a look at for loops on Roblox Studio. Okay, so what are for loops? So for loops are basically loops that run through a set uh, three values of uh, set integers, so three number values. And for the first value, obviously, as you can see, is my my first value, the the start value, the number you want it to start from. So I've just set mine to 10. As you can see, I've set it as a variable up here. I'm waiting three for the player to join into the game. And then I've just got it on an endless loop, as you can see over here. After that, the for, for the loop, I've just done 4i equals start time, our starting value, which is 10, comma 0. This is our finishing value. The second value is the finishing value. And our final value, minus 1, is minus um, 1 uh, int well, one unit, uh, and then do, and we're waiting one second, as if it's counting down every one second by one. And then after we've uh, waited one, we're printing uh, time left, dot dot, we've concatenated, if you've watched my concatenating video, you'll know what this is. So I'll leave a link to a card to it up in the top right hand corner. Um, and then I've just concatenated the I to my and then I've just concatenated the i to my time value. Come back up, let's come up here to run and watch my output and we'll see how this works. And you can see time left, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And because it's in a while true do loop, it's gonna run endlessly. All right, so let's take a look at writing our own for loop. So for this, what I'm going to do is firstly clear my output. I'm going to add a uh, wait uh, five, just so that I'm just, I'm just waiting for the game to load, just in case um, it starts before we're ready. So next we can we can we can set a, val a variable. We don't need to set a variable for our start time. We can set variables for all of them, but um, I'm not going to do that at the moment. Um, so this is how the basic, the most basic way you can write a for loop, a for uh, i loop, is for i equals, okay, so the start time. So let's say our teleporting time, we're teleporting over the course of three seconds. So we can go three comma, we want to go down to zero comma minus one. And we're gonna do do drop a line and we want it to wait one second in between each uh, decrease and what we're going to do is just print uh, the time left uh, we'll put a space and then we'll just go dot dot is equal to i because i is carrying the value of our main um, number that we want it's, it's carrying this first number right here that's i is equal to the, th the first place. So if we just click run, if we focus down here on my output, time left, three, two, one, zero. All right, so I'm going to explain this just one more time. So the for is just the syntax for the for loop. That's, we just need to have that. The i is going to be the value that we, uh, the i carries the value of what we're doing over here, our um, counting down or counting up. If you want to count up from three, what you can do is you can just do one. You don't need to add a plus. This will error. You don't need to do that. You just add, because it's on the positive. And I'll set my ending value to uh, five. So it's going to count up from three to five. You just wait a couple seconds. And there it is, time left, four, five, as you can see, it's counting up in increments of one every one second up to our ending value, which is the middle one, the end. We're at the start. This is our start. This is the end. And this is the number we want it to either change by, go up or down. There is currently no divided by, I believe. You can you can slash, but don't do that. Just just don't. Um, and just, I'm just gonna put the minus there again. So it's counting down. So one last time, four is the syntax. I is carrying the value of us counting down over here. I'm just going to change that back to 
and I'm just um, changing that back to zero, our ending value. And we've got the do, that's automatic syntax, don't worry about that. We've dropped the line, the script should automatic create, automatically create an end without a bracket. If you see a bracket like this, delete it like that. Um, click, uh, well don't click. As you can see, we've just, this is the, the wait is the time in between how often we want this to happen. Because if I take this wait away, if you see, when I click run, what's going to happen is it's going to happen all at the same time. Because the script is running so fast, as you can see, it happened like immediately. So how we can prevent this is just add a wait. Uh, one second is generally best or however long you want your loop to wait. And then of course we've done I've done a concatenating video if you want to know learn what this is about right here. We've basically stitched the string value to the i value which is carrying this. So it's carrying the number of value, the number at the time left. And it's just added an n like what you've seen so far then maybe click a lot click like on the video and um if if you want to see more and don't want to miss out then maybe click subscribe and turn on the bell um also maybe leave a comment if you have any problems i'll answer all of them i promise you and yeah but other than that thank you guys so very much for watching see you next time